What is going on everybody? My name is Devonte Fariga and I am a Division 3 basketball player at the University of Mount Union, which is in Ohio. Shout out Ohio and uh, comment below where you're from. But today, it's gonna be a little bit different of a vlog. Um, if you guys watch my vlogs usually, I'm gonna be vlogging a little bit of my day just as if it's a day in the life. Then I'm gonna do a QA and a and a lot of you guys are asking me, can you play professional basketball from Division 3 or starting at the Division 3 college level? Then you're asking what my plans are after school, so I want to get to that but right now I'm about to go meet up with an old friend of mine his name is Gabe Lotney and uh, I'm super excited I haven't seen him in a couple years but we've always been really tight so I'm gonna head over there right now and then we'll get started with the day I have lifting I have practice and I have class it's just gonna be like any other vlog and then I'll get to the Q&A after so let's get the day started what's up how are you good hey, Couple years. Yeah, for real. You're on the vlog? Finally. <laughs> we we haven't hung out in like how long? Three, four, five years? A long time. Alright, like I said, this is Gabe, friend of mine. Basically, we were like really close in middle school, like high school a little bit, but he went away for high school, then he came back, but then he was a grade above me, and then he graduated early. We all have those friends that we were friends with in middle school that we don't even know like what they're doing anymore, but We've stayed connected a little bit, so I'm happy to be out here. Day's about to get started. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm doing a little bit of a Q&A later, so I'm excited. We just got to campus. This is Quez back here. Yeah, where are you sorry. represented from? Vieira, Florida. From Florida. Again, comment below where you're from. And then we got Chris back there. But he's too ugly to be in the vlog, because then you guys might sign off. <laughs> What's your next class? I got Japanese. Okay. Foreign. I got international trade. I'd ask him, but he's too ugly. <laughs> Got international trades. My only one today is Friday. What? Yeah, I'm going to class. You be great. Yeah. It's a starting quarterback here, D'Angelo Fulford. Give my man a shot at the NFL. It actually has a lot to do with what we're talking about today. Yeah, my only class right now. Then I'm going to head over to the gym, and I'm going to shoot a little bit with Coach Twitty, the assistant coach. Hey, I'm trying to vlog. You guys are just talking back here. You're ruining my audio. And shit. Just, hey, screw your audio. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, going to head over to the gym after class, get some shots up. Hopefully Twitty helps me out. If not, then... Whatever, Twitty. And then afterwards, I'm probably gonna get something to eat because I got lifting at two o'clock. And then after lifting, I got practice. And then after practice, we're doing this Q and A. Catch up with you guys after class. You want to say something? Uh, what's it for? What is it for? Oh, just your vlog. Yeah, What's this up, is just guys? a vlog. Too very honored to be honest. Appreciate <laughs> you feel it. honored. <laughs> yeah. She plays basketball yeah. here. Should I do a day in the life of a women's basketball player at yeah, the Division Three you level? Should. Women don't get enough respect. So. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. We'll have to do the video. All right. Then. All right. <laughs> hey, you guys are ugly. You're ugly. You're ugly. I'm ugly. Just got to the Mac facility right now. Going uh, into the gym. Twitty's already working them out, so we're going in right now. Gonna get a little bit of a workout in. Goes here to record. We're gonna get some cool B-roll going. The white shoes, got the hoodie t-shirt on right now, and the Nike shorts. So uh, let's get it going.
Ooh. Grinding right now. Just got done with the workout we did, this crazy shooting drill. I'm tired. But now we're going straight over to lifting. Got 15 minutes until we start over there. Minute and a half walk, so we'll get over there right now. All right, it is 1.52. Lifting starts in eight minutes. This is the gulling training facility. If you haven't watched any previous vlogs, we're not doing anything crazy today just because we're sore as hell. So we're gonna do like some stretching and some minor lifts. I'm just gonna lo roll a little bit of a montage. Here we go. Oh man, okay, we just finished up <coughs> with lifting. I still have Chris's shoes because he had to go to class, so I'm just gonna leave him here. How was lifting today? Pretty easy. Yeah? It's probably because I'm huge. <laughs> How was lifting today? Today? Wow. How was lifting today? Damn, dude, it was cool. No plate pushers? It's gain season. No, it's not. <laughs> Alright, I gotta make. Oh, you guys are gonna like this. What's up? Yeah. What's up, man? Doing good, man. I'm with my boy Jesse right now. What's up, what's man? What's up? Oh, Jesse, what's up? Bro, I've seen your stuff. Thank you. I saw your shit. It's doing really well lately. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So, I'm Stelios Crudis. I go to Villanova. I'm a sophomore. I play lacrosse there. What's up, guys? I'm Jesse James West. I'm a sophomore attackman at Montclair State University. Let's get it. Hey, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> both, of their, both of their YouTube channels are going to be linked below, too. I just wanted to call you really quick, but it's actually awesome that you guys are together. Or the idea of calling you guys was just kind of like shout out the whole student athlete YouTube community because I think what we're doing is really cool right now. So I just wanted to congratulate you guys on everything going on right Thank now. You. Shout you guys out too. Thank you. Yeah, keep up the great stuff. Yeah, man. Hey, lock me in too, Jesse. Get the number from hey, Celios. Sure, all right, well, we got to do some sort of collab soon, all right? Oh, yeah. Jesse, stay in touch, man. All right, guys. See you later. I just think it's so cool what we're doing as student athletes on the platform. Yeah, so now that I'm back home after lifting and getting a workout in, I'm gonna cook some food and then I'm gonna head back over to the gym and uh, we have practice. And then after practice, I'm gonna start this q and I'm gonna answer a couple billion questions and then uh, we're gonna call it a day. All right, got this big plate of chicken and a big glass of smoothie. Joe makes me a smoothie every morning, so shout out to Joe. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'll see you guys over at practice. Just got to the Mac facility. I actually just got my ankle taped up because I rolled my ankle in practice the other day and it hurt pretty bad, so check it out. Ouch. Yeah, I'm just getting to the locker room right now. Brought the white shoes today. Oh, wow. Everybody's in here right now. Hello, everyone. How's everybody's day? How's yours? Are you late? I'm great. I huh? You told us to be here by 5:20. I was getting my ankle taped. I've been uh, here. Where's the tape? Look, 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 look. Uh, hey. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's start practice. finished up practice how was practice oh mo my mo hold on i gotta we just finished up practice it was a good one i actually had to get iced up after practice we got this thing called game ready it was horrible john is a very big fan of it right john i love it it's the best thing out there it's not that great it's awesome that we have it but it's very cold it's like icing i told you guys earlier i rolled my ankle so i had had to get it done after practice i'm gonna start this q a right now though oh okay and starts the Q&A. This is the last portion of the vlog, I think, is obviously from the title and thumbnail. The first question, what is your favorite memory from playing at Mount Union? So I think I kind of have two here. First one, um, obviously last year when we got to cut the nets down, when we won the regular season championship. That's probably one of the most memorable ones and obviously one of my favorite. And then the second one would have to be freshman year when I worked all the way from not having a spot on the practice squad to playing JV, to working my way all the way up to starting the last seven games of the season. Probably one of the most memorable and one of my favorite, and 
I guess one of my favorite, yeah, you could say. Next question, what's the hardest thing about transitioning from high school basketball to college basketball? And uh, Personally, I would just say the game speed and then defense for sure. Uh, lastly, understanding that you're not going to be the guy right away or the girl right away that's just the star basketball player now if you're somebody that's coming in who was just like a dog on their high school team and you're going to like a division one school maybe like zion it's different but i'm talking about this level but yeah that's personally one of the hardest transitions if you're going to be one of the best players on your high school basketball team and if you're going to play college basketball then it's going to probably be different when you get here i always like this question also, shout out to Alec. He's letting me use his phone because mine died. <laughs> At Alec underscore 216 on Instagram. I'll actually keep it in there since you're doing me a favor. What's the best piece of advice uh, you have for high schoolers to get exposure from colleges? I don't want to come off sounding like a rude person, but you kind of have to be good. I don't really know any other way to say it besides maybe get a highlight tape together. You can also check out my email video. It'll be linked below. It talks about how you should email colleges and the exact script for what you should say. What age was my first dunk? I'm actually going to play it here. I believe I was 15 years old. Ready for the season? Come on now. Who's your favorite D1 player? Me, AJ LaPrey. Favorite shoes to play in besides LeBron's? I don't really know, I only ever get LeBron's. I had Kobe's freshman year, yo. Uh, should I give them away? Uh, best part of playing Division Three basketball. So if we're talking about actually playing Division Three basketball, I think it's just, it's, hard. it's a hard comparison because I haven't played Division One, I haven't played Division Two, haven't played Juco, haven't played any other level. So my personal experience is just the bond that I've created with my brothers here. And then personally on campus, I love the size of our school and for me that's it's just like the family atmosphere of everybody on campus and it's just cool to like have a small campus and know everybody. If you could have gone D1, what university would you have gone to? I'm an Ohio guy. I'm not a huge like college sports fan, so I don't really follow much. But if you were to ask me in high school, I probably would have said Davidson College because I was a huge Steph Curry fan. Blah. I was a huge Steph Curry fan just because of his story and like how he wasn't heavily recruited and I kind of felt the same way. But if you ask me now, probably Ohio State, larger school, larger division one, known school and uh, close-ish to home. How do you get closer with your teammate? Oh, what's up, AJ? I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Don't take it so seriously. All right, how do you get closer with your teammates? If you're a leader on the team, you have to take initiative. Uh, I'm the captain of the, of the team here with Mo, and then we have the four co-captains here where all the seniors are captains. Screw all the other labeled stuff. You got to get out outside of basketball and get closer with your team because you're all going to be close on the court. You're going to fight whatever. You know, we just do extra stuff. You know, go out, go to each other's houses, go, go have fun, go to the movies if you're in college like go go out to eat together if you could transfer d1 for senior year would you no not at all how do i be so a lot of you guys actually reach out to me how do i become a better shooter how do i become a better dribbler honestly you just gotta dribble and shoot more how do you become a better shooter you shoot more how do you dribble the ball better dribble the ball more it's pretty self-explanatory you just gotta want to you just gotta have the work ethic to do it gotta get out there Stay motivated to do it, and you just gotta grind, really. Can I get some free merch? Listen, I just ordered 10 new gray shirts, and I'm gonna be giving those away once we hit 50,000 subscribers, so make sure to share the channel. When did you realize you could play at the next level? That's a great question, actually. Personally, I realized like I wanted to my entire life. Like I always wanted to play college basketball and then go to the NBA and be a professional basketball player. But I feel like that's every basketball player's dream. I think I noticed I could play at the next level in like I think sophomore year of high school. You just you learn to understand who the best player is on your team. It's not a cocky thing. Everybody knows who the good players are on their team at least. And then you want to keep playing basketball after you're kind of like the guy or the girl on your team. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what. I know to sophomore year of high school if I'm being honest the question that you guys have all been waiting for can you play professional basketball from being at the division three how do I word this can you play pro after can being you, a D3 basketball player? D3 level to go yeah pro. you guys get where I'm going with this the answer is yes listen Here's why, because you can play overseas. Now, it might be pretty self-explanatory. You guys might already know this. We have had two basketball players in the last three, four years go and play professional basketball. Look at these banners. The Allen Jackson, where's he at? Professional basketball player, 2017. And then we have 2016, Jarrett Ruffin, professional basketball player. Now, where did they play? I can't remember off the top of my head. What was it, Romania? Italy and Romania. Like, you can, you can do this stuff. And then the question of, can you make it to the NBA? Now, I don't think I've ever heard of people making it to the NBA from D3. I actually... 
that's a lie. Somebody actually commented it that like two people in the 70s or 80s did. It's very, very, very unheard of nowadays. Like I'm not gonna sit here and say you can't. I'm not gonna sit here and say, yeah, you can just enter the draft and be drafted. But there was a Juco player that got drafted the last year, I think like 27 pick. And uh, and then the question for, am I going to try and play professional basketball? Um, I think it all depends on the YouTube channel, really. I think I want to play professional basketball. I want to continue to play basketball. Oh, you need this? That's what I was saying. Oh, my bad. Brayden's gotta wash the clothes. Uh, going back to the question, am I going to try and play professionally? Of of course I would love to play professionally if I get the option to. Um, I might try and take initiative and reach out just how I did in high school because the way I see it is if I'm vlogging my life as a Division Three basketball player, which is the like lowest level of NCAA collegiate sports and I can gain attention through that and show you guys that it's okay to play at this level and it's still college basketball, then I can kind of carry it over to the bottom of professional basketball, which is like overseas. And there's also like levels and leagues and divisions for that too. And I can carry over the idea of, you know, you can make it professionally from low level college sports and kind of just continue the motivation of working for yourself and grinding for your own passion. So that's my answer to that. Take it how you want it. I'm excited to see your guys' reactions. So make sure you comment below what you think of that. I'm gonna answer a couple more questions. Um, who would win one-on-one, -on -one, me or Nathan? Me, what do you think? Your mom. Okay. <laughs> Who would you compare your game to that is in the NBA now? I would like to say Devin Booker, but that's just me. I'm a fan of his playing style. Some people say I shoot like Klay Thompson. Uh, some people say I play like Russell Westbrook. And some people just don't comment. What do you think? You think I play like Devin Booker at all? I think you're like a mix of Kawhi and Russ. Hey, I'll take that. This is going to be the last question. It's a great question. I feel like I should end with this one. How can you tell what division you're good enough to play at um, collegiately in high school? I think this is a good question because I don't really know. I think deep down, you know in high school, but sometimes you don't want to face it. And that kind of corresponds for me because when I was in high school, I was D1, D2, full ride or die. And that's exactly why I do the motivation for some of these guys in high school that I go to, tell them, look, it doesn't have to be D1 or die. That doesn't mean don't shoot for division one or division two. Doesn't mean don't like have that as a goal. It just means like, look, there's if there's a whole bunch of D division three schools that are like looking at you, maybe a couple D2, but it's not for sure. Like don't look down on that. It's still college basketball. Look, deep down, you know what level you're good enough to play at. But with that being said, I know a lot of people that have gone to a Division I school when they had a lot of Division Three offers to play or Division Two offers to play, but they wanted that D1 title and they've walked on and they've end up started end up starting by senior and junior year. So I would say anything's possible. You just gotta go with your heart and you gotta understand that I think by a certain point in high school, then you might know what what level you're good enough to play at. Going off of that, I'm gonna end with this. You guys gotta find your uh, your actual passion. Like A lot of you are all basketball players just because I post a lot of basketball content and I get that, but there's been a lot of people that have been reaching out to me and saying like, you know, how do I, how do I know if I wanna play basketball at the next level? I'll just say this, at the end of the day, you have to be grateful for what is put in front of you. And uh, if nothing is given to you, then earn it. Did I say that right? If nothing's given to you, then earn it. And go out and work for it. Like a lot of people complain. If you want to play college basketball, and you want to have things like a locker room, you want to have these Nike jerseys, maybe you want to be at the Division One school and have a huge like banger locker room. I'm cool with this. I'm very happy with this. But if you want something like that that I'm talking about, you got to go out and work for it. And that's all I got to say. Guys, I got to get showered up. Got to get some food in my system because I'm dying right now. Thank you so much for the support lately. We just passed 32 and a half thousand subscribers. So thank you so much. Really means a lot to me. And uh, Alec, thank you so much for letting me use your phone. Thank you guys so much for the questions. Drop some more below, I'll answer them. I'll respond to basically every single comment when I get the chance. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We got a scrimmage and I'm probably gonna mic myself up for it. So <laughs> we'll see how well that goes over. I'm not sure Alec's already laughing about it. <laughs> stay motivated, stay positive. I got the horses in the back. Yo! Hey. Did I scare you? No, I heard you. I gotta tell you something. What's up? Look up. Yeah. <laughs>